click right there click the channel then click in the videos tab and then scroll through the videos and watch any video you ain't seen before and make sure you like comment and subscribe if you ain't subscribed and hit the notification bell and when you do all this you was teaching youtube robot algorithms that hood horror is content that y'all love and then they'll push me more thank y'all I sat in the kitchen with my gun and I go through this same thing every single night. I sit at the table staring at my basement door. And the longer I sit here, the more and more my hands shake. And I try to drink me a couple of drinks, just a couple sips of drink. I try not to go too far. I know I need my mind to be somewhat clear. Now, every night, I hear a woman in my house in the basement. Now, the first time I heard her, she was crying and calling for help. Now, I thought it was from outside. But after looking around, I seen it was coming from the basement. Now, I ran down there thinking some woman must have got hurt. You know, running from her abusive boyfriends and whatnot. You know, sometimes a woman got to get away from them guys. They'll do anything once they finally get fed up to get away from them, including climbing into somebody else's basement. Well, see, women real resourceful after a while, man. A woman put her mind to it, she can get up out of anything. Shit. I'm a resourceful too, man. I had one girl. She was going to shoot me, right? I'm sitting there. I wasn't beating on her or nothing. I just was, I just was, uh, what you call I just was creeping around. <laughs> you know, I just creeping around, you know. We wasn't married or nothing. You know, I just creeping, man, but. You know, I told her that I, you know, I told her that I, uh, you know, I told her I loved her and I always going to be with her. You know, I lied to her. You know, I ain't going to lie to y'all, but I lied to her. And one day I woke up and that girl standing there with that pistol. And all I could think to do was I grabbed my heart and fell out like I had a heart attack. Oh, Lord. And I fell out. And she ran over. Oh, Lord, I didn't kill them. I didn't kill them. I grabbed that pistol from her and ran, threw that gun in the bush somewhere and ran like crazy. Well, you know, I, I get to, I can think pretty quick too, but a woman can really think quick though. You know, push comes to shove, man. Anyway, in T way. So, you know, I'm running down there thinking I'm finna save the day. Now, I ain't realize, you know, until I got all the way in the basement that my basement is locked up and barred. And ain't no way nobody could have got up in there. You know, I stays in the hood. So uh, when you in the hood, unless it's on the second floor, you put some bars on that window. So I had the windows all barred up and stuff, man, the door and everything. Now, at this point, I'm already down there. So I turned the lights on and I started looking around to see where she was at. And that's when I saw her standing next to my tools with a saw, just cutting her own body. Now, the whole time she was cutting herself, she kept smiling, but crying at the same time, asking for help. So, I ran upstairs. Got on the phone, called police, and after witnessing them getting there and she was gone, and there's no way she could have left because the basement was still barred up and there ain't nowhere else to go, and uh, she didn't come up through the kitchen, none of that. She disappeared without a trace, and she haunt me every other night, but her crying. Her cries for help 
they getting closer and closer to the stairs. And I don't think it'll be long before she make her way up them stairs. <laughs>